In this video, I'm going to show you how you can scrape a web table uh, using the beautiful soup and the request library. If you do not have these two library, first you can install them using the pip or the conda commands. So the table that you're going to, to scrape is uh, this, as you can see, it, and uh, has 23 pages as of now. So in the exercise, we are going to scrape the first page first and then create a loop to scrape all the other rows. So first we have imported the libraries and uh, we get our URL. So once we have our URL, we are going to re request our page. So page will be equals to requests dot get our URL. And uh, then we create a soup object. Soup will be BS, beautiful soup page.txt and then our parcel. Now, now that you have our super object, we can find the table and the table, the table body can be passed from the soup dot find table so first we're going to initialize an empty list we call it uh, the raw data and that is where we're going to store those info information so therefore then now let's look through the, uh, the table so for row in a table body dot find all finding all the table rows so a call will be so the column entry will be row dot find find all the table data and then we're going to extract the texts from each column entry so the element dot texts we're going to also to strip uh, the white spaces so finally we are going to append this column in the row data so row data dot append call. So finally, we're going to get the list that will contain all the row data. So then we can run our, our code and to establish whether we are going to, it's working as we desire. Yes, our code now is generating a list that contain lists of the raw data. Now that we have established that our code is working, we can create a loop that will capture all the information in all our pages. So to begin with, we are going to use the while loop. So we amend our code. So while condition And uh, define, we assign the, uh, the variable condition to be true. So we have a, uh, our loop while true, the body of the code is indented. And also we take out the, M, the list, the empty list outside the code. 
the loop code. Now then, we can find how we are going to loop through all our pages. So first of all, let's inspect how the pagination uh, is represented in our web page. And uh, as you can see here, find that each class, they are contained in a class called pagination. And the current active class is also, we can identify it and it has its corresponding high ref. And with that, we can jump to the next uh, page number using the next sibling method. And then finally, we test whether the URL, the next URL is blank, as in the case when we get to the end of the pagination. If the next URL is blank or is empty, condition will be false and our loop will terminate else the url is the next well is our code and you can test whether the code is working so the active page is active pg not active page Now then we can uh, extract the headers of our table, create an empty list called headers, and then we're going to look through all the table headers. So as you can see here, we have a list of all the headers for the columns from our table. So with that, now we can uh, create our data frame. Let's call it results. So now let's create our data frame that will contain our headers and the, the row entries. So results. So thank you for watching. If you found it useful, please like it and subscribe.